Meanwhile, gymnast Simone Biles shocked the world when she pulled out of the team event this week, citing her mental health. King 5's Mark Wright talked with one of the top mental skills coaches in the entire country. And Mark, what can we all learn from Simone's struggles there at the Olympics? Well, Jessica, everyone has been talking about this story. What's interesting is what happened to Simone Biles happens to all of us at one point or another. She's just on a bigger stage. But to get some answers, I went to Sean Quinn with the Moad Consulting Group. This is the company Russell Wilson uses to stay at the top top of his game. So the bottom line is, if you're thinking about anything other than what you're doing, you will short circuit your performance. But that is much easier said than done. Here's part of my conversation with mental skills coach Sean Quinn. Well, I feel for her. You know, I, I know that she's she's put in a lot of time and effort. Um, you know, it's been five years now since since her last, you know, uh, Olympics. And, you know, knowing that she's kind of an elder statesman uh, or stateswoman uh, going out there and and, and competing that this would probably be one of her last Olympics, if not her last. Um, you know, she's not going out to Tokyo to, to, to you know, to, to pull out. You know, I know she put in a lot of, a lot of time, a lot of effort to do that. And so um, it had to be something that, that was big, something that was weighing on her, something that was stressing her. So um, really looking at that was, my thoughts were, um, you know, I, I hope she's going to be okay, but also knowing that the competitor she is, um, that for her to make that decision, I, I was you know happy to see that she had the wherewithal to sit there and say, look, you know this is something that um, you know is bothering me, and I'm not going to put myself through something or risk myself to get hurt or my teammates to get hurt um, because I'm not feeling right mentally to commit to to go in to do what I need to do. For a gymnast, I'm guessing that when you are not mentally in the right space, it's not just a problem; it could be dangerous, right? Definitely, definitely. And I think looking at a, a gymnast and, and some of the things that they're trying to, to accomplish out there, um, you have to be committed. And I think you have to be committed to what you want to do and what, you, what you, your plan is. And if you're on the vault or bars or, or beam or whatever that may be, um, if you lack commitment, um, that could mean you know, severe injury for yourself. It could be you know, letting your teammates down. And a lot of times that can get in our own mind and get in our own head. And we have doubt. Um, you know, that can kind of preclude a lot of negativity that ultimately leads to, uh, you know, having a mistake or, or making an error and making matters worse. What does the average person not know about mental preparedness and mental conditioning that you guys as experts know? Because you teach at the highest level. So give us that little nugget of, of what's, that, what's that thing that you guys know and the top athletes come to understand that, that most of us don't know? I think a lot of times we, we, we like to say the separation is in the preparation. So how we prepare helps us to get through certain moments, but also that negative negative moments are going to happen. And it can be really tough to be positive when a negative moment happens. Um, you know, and so a lot of times we talk about this concept of, of staying neutral, which is being in the middle. And, and I like to call it, you know, this, this acronym win what's important now. So what I need to do right now, as opposed to obsessing over the negative, or telling myself it's gonna be okay when I truly don't believe it's gonna be okay and figure out what I need to do to get through the situation. And if I can focus on that and create a plan, then I have a plan of action to, to help myself get through it. Or when I have success, understand what happened. Um, and, and then I can say, it's gonna be okay because I have a plan in place to help myself um, you know, succeed. So that WIN acronym, he said, is really the key. What's important right now? And I'll tell you a really short story to illustrate that. Russell Wilson was in a game, fumbled a snap on his own five-yard line at the very start of the game. He came back to win, but after the game, a reporter asked Russell, what were you thinking about after you fumbled? And Russell said, honestly, I didn't think about it at all until you just asked me. So the takeaway is that Russell only thinks about mistakes to the extent they will improve his current situation. Otherwise, he just puts them out of his head. But as Simone showed us this week, uh, Jessica, we're all human, yeah. and sometimes it just doesn't work out regardless of what we want. Okay, if you would like a, full, a link to the full interview with Sean, including some great advice from Deepak Chopra as well, text oh. the word MENTAL to 206-448-4545. We'll send you a link to that full interview.